What's up guys, this is Andre or Chokenator if you know me from my stream and today I'm going to show you how to export GIF or GIF, however you want to pronounce it, uh, GIF animations in Krita. And today I have here for you a sample animation that I made. It's this sort of pirate squirrel throwing a bag of granola into a hole. And since it loops, it looks like he's throwing a bunch of bags in granola. I thought that was a kind of a cute project. Anyway, uh, before we move on, I do want to show you that there is a bit of a prerequisite before you can export animations and render them. And to do that, you need to find this guide. It's in the official Krita documentation. The easiest way to find it is to Google FFMPEG Krita uh, or a Krita um, at render animation tutorial, however you want to find it. Uh, and then it'll take you to this uh, official documentation. I think it's funny that the current version is 420. Anyway, you click that and it'll take you to this document and you just scroll down. It'll teach you all the basic steps and terminology. But the most important part is this one. Step one, downloading FFMPEG. Now I have Windows, so I would follow these instructions here. But if you have OS X or Linux, it'll also tell you how to do it. Now I could show you this first link, go to the FFMPEG website. But I tried, down, I tried downloading it from here and it was kind of weird to extract. Not really sure what these file types are. They actually give you another link. The URL that had the link for me was here. They should probably just put this link. I open that in the new tab. It'll take me to the Zeronoe, uh, uh, ffmpeg.zeronoe.com. And I have Windows 64 bit and you just download the build. It looks like the file name is win64 static. So that will make it easier for me to find. But anyway, I've already downloaded it. And how you put that in Krita to be used for encoding, since FFMPG is an encoding software, you go to File, Render Animation. And here under Video Options, it'll show you FFMPEG. And you kind of need to navigate a bit. Let me show you where it went for me. So Downloads, I put it in my Downloads folder, FFMPEG, Win64 Static. I had to extract it so there's another folder. And if you can't find it, get lost, it's actually in bin. So look in bin, and there it is, ffmpeg.exe. I click that, click open, and there it is. So once you do this once, it'll be there forever. So you only need to do this one time, then you can uh, render any animations. So if you haven't done that yet, go ahead and do that, and you'll never have to do it again. So I'm going to head. I'm going to go ahead and render this. Um, so first frame zero, last frame twenty one, because it loops on frame twenty one. You can also set it here while you're animating down here. Start on frame zero, end on frame twenty one. Either way, it works. So uh, I'm going to put it into my demo folder here. Oops. So yeah, I'll replace this one. So I already I made one earlier. Okay, let's click OK, and that's going to render. It'll take a bit of time since there's twenty one frames. And that should work. Now, some of you might think, hey, that didn't work. Uh, I am going to show you that it can be a little bit buggy for older versions, even for the current versions. I'm going to show you, uh, I'm going to demonstrate a bug that happens. It's my animation demo folder. I'm going to show you a bug that happens when you try to render with, transpar with transparency. As you can see, I have a bit of a background here. But if I try to render without the background, let's take out these backgrounds and try to render it. Let's do the same thing. File, render animation, hit OK. It'll go ahead and do that. So I'm going to find it again. Oh, I should have kept that folder open. Let's see, animation, demo, here. So it actually renders with a black background. And a lot of times you don't really want that. So some older versions of Krita will not even be able to um, export a GIF at all. Uh, some versions will give you sort of like the frames overlapping and you don't want that either. I just want the GIF with a, sorry, I'm switching around from GIF to GIF. Tell me in the comments whether you pronounce it GIF or GIF. I know there's a big debate about that. Anyway, uh, there is a workaround to that so you can actually get the transparent background and that's just simply to render as a image sequence. So just click here, image sequence. Let's put it in our demo folder. Where is that demo folder? Demo folder. So I'm just gonna put in the image sequence there. I'll call it demo. Start at zero, first frame zero. Always check your first and last frame. Click OK, and then it'll render the frames. Now the workaround is to go to GIF Maker or GIF Maker. Now some people use gifmaker.me. Now I noticed that if you have sort of a large image, it will uh, kind of kill the quality. So actually go to gifmaker.org. 
This one actually doesn't kill the quality. So I'm going to go ahead and find those images here in my demo folder. Demo 000 all the way to demo 0021. I'll grab those. And it takes some time to upload these. Uh, it's a little bit slower than rendering. But this is how you'll get a perfectly looking GIF or GIF uh, with a transparent background. So once those are done, uh, you do want to set the frame rate. Um, actually, I, I do need to show you how to set the frame rate within Krita also. Um, this uh, GIF is supposed to be 12, frame per, 12 frames per second. So uh, since GIFs measure by uh, milliseconds, by MS, um, I calculated that 83 MS will give you 12 frames per second. So I can go ahead and create the animation. Just wait a moment there. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Click download GIF. And that will make me a new GIF. So this one has the transparent background there, which is what you want. Now, I also want to show you how to set the frame rate. Oh, let's not close that yet. So if we go to File, Render Animation, you can set the frame rate for GIFs, if, if it does work for you, if you do want to render it straight from Krita. Set FPS here, set to 12. So that should pretty much show you all the steps of rendering GIFs in Krita, looping ones. Um, yeah, so I uh, hope that helped. Uh, love you all, and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I do plan to make more. I know a lot of you have been waiting for them. So I hope that helped a lot, and I'll see you guys soon in the next video. Bye-bye.